Hi, my name is Marco Cantu and I'm here to present the third video in the series about REST development with uh, Delphi 2010. Um, my name is Marco Cantu and you can see my email address at gmail.com. Uh, I'm the author of uh, quite a few books on Delphi. Uh, the latest one are self-published but are available on Amazon as well. I'm a conference speaker, teacher, consultant, mentor on Delphi and web technologies. Uh, in the first installation, I showed you how to create a very simple REST client application in Delphi step by step. The second example was focused on the development of clients for the mapping software. Now, this third example is another REST client, which is the more business oriented, business savvy one, which will let you ex create. Um, execute a query on your database and publish uh, some of the resulting records on a Google spreadsheet. So here is a sample uh, Google spreadsheet that I've created and that has specific captions in the first uh, row which will be mapped to the columns of our database. Uh, the second feature, the only thing that manually added is a calculated field. This is the total of this column. And that's all of our uh, spreadsheet. Now here is the client application running. We can list the various can list the various spreadsheet that I have in my Google document account and look for the sample spreadsheet. Then I can get the list of the tabs because I need to focus on the URL of the specific tab. And then the third operation I can do at this point is just to add one of these records to the uh, spreadsheet. So if I press this button, and we'll get some results down there. Uh, we have actually sent the information to the uh, spreadsheet online. As we can see, the uh, entry has been added and the total has been recomputed automatically. Now, let me do it this live. So here is the application and in the background you can see the side and the operation is almost instantaneous. So what we are happening on one side, and I could be on any computer around the world, I'm sending information to the spreadsheet. On the other side, I'm just sitting anywhere else in the world, looking uh, in the browser, uh, and I can see the new data that's changing almost uh, in real time. Again, I'm doing this on a single computer, which is kind of a nonsense, but consider doing this remotely and consider having dozens of people looking at that spreadsheet. Of course, not just anyone, only people who have been allowed to view the application and only people you are sharing this uh, web uh, data with. So it's not that's a public, but you can let people do things. The other thing that people can do, I mean, anyone that is allowed, is to edit the information. So there's nothing preventing people for, from changing the information once uh, it has been published. And again, every, anyone everywhere in the world who has editing rights to the specific document can actually go ahead and make a change. So what about the code of this application? Now the REST code here is a little more complex because we do have to hit a specific URL, but there are two things that are relevant. First, we have to go using HTTPS rather than plain HTTP. And second, we have to provide uh, permission information. So what I'm actually doing is creating a support method 
for making the request. And this support method uses an Indy SSL handler socket for open for the open SSL library. And the other thing that we have to do is to add some custom headers. And among the custom headers, you need to provide an authorization string. This authorization string is provided by a support class. And the support class grabs it by doing another arrest request to the Google accounts domain uh, URL. Uh, providing your email, password, and the type of account, and what you are looking for, which kind of service you're looking for. And the result of this request, if valid, is a series of strings, including the authorization string that remains valid for 30 minutes from the same IP address, and that you can use in subsequent calls. So the idea is we get this authorization that expires after some time and uses as an extra custom header in the following request. And the request we're doing specifically is getting private full, the list of the spreadsheet. This is a first request. And then I use XPath for passing like I did in the first demo for the RSS feeds. Uh, for the second button, something similar, just hooking a different uh, URL. And what I pass in is the specific I URL for the spreadsheet. And here I get the pages of the spreadsheet. And again, do XPath processing. For adding the carbon record, we have to post some data, so send data, uh, again, over the specific URL for the sheet within the spreadsheet, the tab within the spreadsheet. And we have to provide an entry data structure, which I create with this small helper function, adding various fields. Every field needs to be inside a namespace, a dynamic namespace that uses as value the name of the first row of the corresponding column. So the, the row columns I set up at the beginning in my documents are used to solve the fields. The fields are not added by position, but are added by name. And then, of course, I provide the name, the value inside the current record of my uh, local data set. By creating this data structure, you can publish your data live on a Google spreadsheet. And this, I think, is an extremely interesting uh, application because for a free account, you can have, uh, you can publish database, database tables and spreadsheets on the web dynamically driven by your own local DB and business application and sh let your users, users that are allowed to work with this data, uh, read and edit the resulting information. So I think that uh, explains a lot of why going to support REST in your application might actually uh, become uh, very, very interesting. So this is the DB2 sheet. And again, this is fully covered. Uh, in, in detail in the white paper that's available from the Embarcadero website. And you'll also be able to see this and other demos in my Delphi REST clients collection site on ajaxmicrocountry.com uh, Delphi REST. Thanks and talk to you later in the next video of this